In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make one of the best online stores out there with e-commerce themes that are A, designed to be fast and also high converting. So Shopify has rolled out five new free themes and 65 updated paid themes that work with online store 2.0 features literally so exciting. So I'm going to take you guys through some incredible Shopify themes so that you guys can decide which one is right for your business in 2022. Each one of these offers industry leading performance and deep customization. But can we just get a little sneak peek here? Okay, let's look at some of these amazing themes. So first of all, look at this one. This one's called context. And I just feel like it would be perfect for someone who is starting like a clothing store, but maybe wants a bit more of an editorial vibe. And then this one over here, look at this one. This one's called loft. And I feel like it would be so good for anyone selling home goods. So that's just a little preview, but definitely stick around till the end of this video, because I'm going to go through a ton of themes and just discuss the specifics on who they're good for and how they could work for you and your business. Okay guys, so what exactly is a theme? So if you think about it, themes are kind of like the skeleton of your online store. It's just gonna define what your store is gonna look like. So for example, in this theme over here, this has one main image for the banner, but if you look at this one, it's gonna allow you to put two images for the banner. And a theme is also gonna define some of the functionality of your store. So for example, when I click the cart on this theme, it pops up as a sidebar. And then when I click the cart on this theme, it's just gonna take up the whole page. So if you guys didn't already know, when you create your online store with Shopify, you can choose between either free themes or premium themes. And it's really nice because there are more and more free themes that are being released recently. So there's tons of options there. And then as of now, there's also 60 paid themes. And you can find a theme that works really easily for yourself because you can narrow it down by industry, price, and then just basically find the design that you're after. Okay, I know you guys are wondering, are Shopify themes better than other themes out there? And I just wanna say really quickly, just want to say this from the jump, Shopify themes are amazing. They're amazing. First of all, if you are not tech savvy, Shopify themes were going to be perfect for you because all of the features that you need already come built into your theme. You're probably never going to need to hire a developer because 99%, if not 100% of what you need already comes built into your theme. But, but if you are a perfectionist like me, and let's say you do wanna do like a little tweaks and like edit, you can edit your store without touching any code. So let's just look at my screen here for one sec because I actually do think this is really important. So if we look here, you can see that I can easily edit these sections and these blocks to look exactly how I want. And I can add apps and I can add apps through app blocks. Like there's so much flexibility here. Obviously hiring a developer can get really expensive really quickly. So this is a really good option if you are just starting, maybe you're trying to save a bit of money, and then another thing that I really like about Shopify themes is that you can get set up in literally less than 24 hours. Like that is not an exaggeration. It is so fast. You could get set up between Zoom meetings. You can get set up while your bagel is toasting. You can get set up before your roommate is done with the shower. Okay, I don't know, probably not that fast. But one thing is for sure, you can definitely get set up before the pandemic is over. That's a little food for thought. So this could be your sign to get going. So it is really quick to get set up, but it's also really good at getting your vision into the real world. You know, when you have like an idea in your head and then you're like, okay, like I know what I want this to look like. I have this idea in my head and then you put it out into the universe and it's just like not really what you were hoping it would look like. I feel like that's definitely happened to me before, but I feel like with Shopify themes, you can, you can get your branding and your vision out into the real world because you just have so much control over styling, over everything. And have you ever been on a website on your phone and it's just like not as good as it would be on desktop? But with Shopify, since themes are responsive, I feel like that just pretty much guarantees that your store is gonna look dope, whether it's on the phone, whether it's on the desktop, wherever. We've all gotten to be very impatient creatures. And let's be real, no one really has the time to wait for even like four seconds for a page to load. But with the online store 2.0, let me tell you, the speed and performance, it's good. As long as we don't overdo it with the heavy videos and like heavy images and that kind of a thing, these themes are gonna be so fast. Guys, not nearly enough people pay attention to this, but Shopify's themes are gonna be highly accessible by design. And I think this is really important to me because everyone has different abilities. Like, for example, some people uh, might not be able to read small type. Maybe they're just unable to see. Maybe they're colorblind. Um, some people are unable to use a mouse to click on products to purchase. So they're going to rely on a keyboard alone to navigate the web. 
And with any Shopify free theme that you choose or paid theme, you can be sure that it's meeting the latest accessibility standards baked in by default. Shopify actually requires the people who are making these themes to make sure that users can navigate through an entire theme with only a keyboard and a screen reader. I love it, I'm here for the inclusivity. Last thing that I really like about the new online store 2.0 themes is that you are fully covered when it comes to support. Like, if you decide to get any free Shopify theme today, you would get an hour of free design time. And in those sessions, the support advisors just have tons of ideas on how you can get more sales. And if you got a paid theme, you can chat with someone who can give you ideas on how to get sales too. So literally support in every direction. All right, guys, this is the age old question. Should you go for a free theme? Should you go for a paid theme? All right, here's the tea. So I feel like if you are just starting out, if you're just getting your feet wet, a free theme is a good option because there's gonna be light, they're gonna be flexible. And if you're looking to have the ability to tweak, the ability to get your theme super on brand, you can definitely do that with a, a free theme. You can get so granular to the point where like, you can choose whether your buttons are gonna have rounded corners or sharp edges, you know what I'm saying? So I do love a free theme, but nothing hits like a good paid theme. This is just my opinion. Um, I find that with premium themes, it's just such a breath of fresh air because you have so much more control. You can get really granular with your settings and your designs in a way that's just not as possible to that level with free themes. For example, you can add animations. You can have product details pop up on hover. You can even change the spacing between letters and those are just to name a few. And I think, I mean, these themes aren't just made by random people. They're literally made by Shopify's theme store partners who have been building themes for over a decade. Developing good themes for you is their entire business. So they always wanna ensure that their themes are on point, that they're giving you incredible customer support. So yeah, there's just nothing like a good premium theme. So if you are new, a free theme is gonna be great, but if you just need a little bit more than the basics, then I would just say, go with a paid theme. Trust me, it's just gonna make your life a lot easier in the long run. But either way, rest assured, whichever way you go, your online store is gonna be amazing. All right, guys, so choosing the right Shopify theme, whether you're choosing paid, whether you're choosing free, it's very important to choose the right Shopify theme because different themes are gonna be better suited for different types of businesses. So let's take a look at some great themes and what you should choose for your business type. Themes for your apparel business. So guys, I know a lot of you have clothing businesses, so let's start with a free option. This one is called Dawn. Now, I don't love this just because it's my middle name, but it's also an online store 2.0 theme. And that means that it's gonna, A, have brand new functionality and it's very chic, very clean looking. So if you guys have really beautiful looking products, you really wanna show them off, this theme is gonna be amazing for you. And the product pages themselves, ooh, they are literally amazing. So look how my images are looking like very large and in charge. That's because this theme supports very large media. And this is gonna be really great because customers can actually get a real sense for how your products look and feel. Here we have collapsible tabs. Love this because you can organize your info instead of just like throwing it all into one large paragraph that no one's gonna read. So you can put in materials, you can put in size charts, for example, but honestly, it's the cross-selling block for me. Guys, look here how we have a recommended section. This is a cross-selling block and you already know that's gonna help customers to purchase more from you. So I love that. And all of that said, with all that said, who is this theme right for? Pretty much any products that are visually stunning are really gonna thrive with this theme, but apparel is gonna be a great candidate for this theme. Guys, look at this theme. Symmetry, ladies and gentlemen. Guys, symmetry has a special place in my heart. I mean, it's got video presentation. It has a professional and very symmetrical look, hence the name. And just like Dawn, your products are really gonna take this like center of attention. Ooh, guys, and look over here. This is a testimonial section. It's just so well designed through and through, and it's kind of giving editorial fashion magazine vibes. And the product page is super dope too. You guys have swatches. You have an inventory level notice. I honestly wish I had known about this theme when I was building my store. I literally searched for the right apps for hours to get these functions. So yeah, overall, this theme is just gonna be really great if you're selling high-end apparel. Next on my list is Focal. Guys, this theme has actually recently undergone a huge revamp. And honey, it shows. First of all, we have beautiful animations. Like look how this content just reveals itself as we scroll. Love that. It's such a pleasant experience. It's like, the equivalent of walking into a store and they just have like a candle burning. 
You know what I mean? We also have a very strong color presence and we're gonna keep those customers focused, hence the name Focal. And yeah, just like overall, this theme looks like it was built by your very own team of top tier designers. So many good features, but I think one of my favorite features of this theme is the shop the look feature. Guys, this is basically like seeing a mannequin in a real store and just wanting to buy everything that it's wearing. So for you as a business owner, that means you can really easily cross sell an entire look with this feature. So I love that. And then if we're looking on the product page, here you have a sticky add to cart as you scroll down. Now, because Online Store 2.0 lets you do so many sections on product pages now, your page can get really long. So this button I think is genius because a customer can click add to cart no matter where they are on the page. Now, I would literally choose a theme just for that feature, but if you are wondering who this theme is right for, I would say this is good for businesses that have, you know, like a really deep meaning and a really deep message behind their business and they need a theme to support that. All right, so who is in the food and beverage industry? These themes are gonna be perfect for you guys. Okay, first up is Crave. So with this theme, it really feels like a pop-up store. You know what I mean? The products really just like jump off the page. This theme is so bold, so vibrant, so playful. You guys can just really demand so much tension with this theme. And I kind of love that this theme is designed for this, you know, like on the go buyer. You know, it just has mobile optimized layouts and dynamic checkout options. And by default, you'll also get sections for instructions and recipes. So if you're the type that needs to have complete control over how customized your store is, then guys, hands down, go with Crave. This is gonna be a really good one and it's also free. If you guys are a stickler for design, right? I feel like you guys are gonna love this next theme. This theme is called Fresh. It is so vibrant, it's so fun, and I feel like it's actually engaging. I mean, aside from just the way it looks, its features are actually designed for food and beverage stores. So for example, you can get customers to confirm their age before entering. That might be key for a lot of you. And if you have a lot of products, the advanced filtering is gonna help customers find exactly what they came for and check out right away. We love that. So this theme is good if you have 20 products or more, and if also you have an in-person location, maybe you plan to make one, this theme is gonna be perfect for you because the features are gonna help you sell online as well as in person. Next on the menu is Foodie. Guys, I cannot with how good the menu looks with this theme. If you guys are a restaurant and you have a really complex menu, you're gonna to wanna to go with Foodie. You have photos, you have different sections, everything that you need. And then you also have this amazing announcement bar. Guys, I have never seen an announcement bar like this. It has three different sections. So this is super unique. And just overall, the theme just feels modern, but not overly stuffy. It's still very playful. And the one more thing that I wanna mention about this theme is that the product page is so good for ingredients and product details. This theme would be perfect if you're a restaurant, but also if you have food and merch to sell. Okay, lastly, we have one more food and beverage theme that is available on the free theme catalog. So unlike Crave, which is like super fun and vibrant, Taste is gonna be a spacious theme that catches your eye because it's got bold headlines, thin strokes, industrial fonts, and look at this high contrast color palette. Guys, this is gorgeous. So this is a really great theme for merchants with bold packaging, or if you have like, very unique value props with a focus on sustainability, for example, because there's just so much opportunity, like lots of storytelling elements with this theme. Even the product section, guys, look at the product sections. These support larger product cards. It gives you specialty product highlights and it gives you space for bespoke FAQs to help buyers just make a more informed decision. If you're in health and beauty, these themes are gonna be for you. Guys, I am obsessed with this theme, guys sense. Well, first of all, it's free, which is great, but it's also stunning. There's just so much energy in this design. Okay. First off, you have a fresh color palette. You've got these like soft gradients, curved design elements. It's just, mm, it feels very like health and beauty in 2022. You know what I mean? So very energetic, very trustworthy. So with this theme, you can add testimonials, videos, and the product descriptions are so easy just to toggle through. There are also sections for product ratings, ingredient lists, and how to use instructions by default. Love it. And because it is free, this will be good for those store owners that are really just getting started. If you're the type of person that doesn't want to commit to like a super bold aesthetic, but almost would rather have your images do the talking, then Venue is going to be perfect for you. Specifically, the Twilight preset, because it's very simple, clean, and it's giving me a mature vibe. And it's got all the functionality that a beauty or a health store would need. So for example, on the product page, they can choose what size product they want, 
They can look at customer reviews and any key details that your customers need to know that's gonna help close that sale. This theme is gonna be perfect if you are marketing to Gen X potentially, or if you're going for more of an understated look. Um, if you want a store that's like really pretty and very classy, maybe has a little bit less edge, but gives more of a luxury feel, then I feel like Block Shop is gonna be perfect for you. And guys, can we just look at this product page for one sec? I feel like I have never seen a theme like this before. We have all the information organized so nicely at the top here, love it. And this is basically just gonna reduce the amount of scrolling that a customer has to do which means that they're more likely to get all the information that they need right away and then click that add to cart button and of course we want that. So this is really well designed. I love this and this theme is gonna be perfect for someone who has a high-end luxury beauty brand or maybe wants their store to be set up really quickly. Here are the themes that should be on your radar if you have a home and decor business. If you don't already know about the craft theme, you need to know about this theme. I feel like this theme evokes a sense of craftsmanship. Um, you have a very honest and authentic maker story. You have a product that deserves to be recognized for its quality. And don't you feel like this theme is like subtle and refined? It's perfect if you want a lot of breathing room and if you want elegant typography. This theme is also so perfect to showcase who you are, your brand story, what you stand for. So this is gonna be good for artisans and makers who have a story to tell. If you're a home and decor store and you wanna focus on the promotional aspect of your store, then this theme here is amazing. It's called Loft, I'm obsessed with it. Look at this card layout. I feel like it just gives such a nice mood board quality. And can you guys see how this might be perfect for someone who has a home and decor store? I feel like it would be perfect. And like I said, this theme is super promotional. So take a look at these promotional treatments. First of all, we have it in the navigation. We also have it in the featured collection section and the pop-up banner. But guys, this pop-up has such a strong impact Guys, my heart literally does a little twirl every time I see this theme. This is highlight, okay? And I feel like this is for my design snobs. So if this theme were a dinner guest, they would talk to you about architecture and the time that they met Chet Baker in the 80s. If you guys are looking for something that stands out from the crowd, I feel like this is just it. Like, just the way that this theme is built is gonna be really memorable for your customers, okay? They have like really nice gentle animations. You've got like some beautiful and very clever scroll effects. I just think that it feels more of an experience rather than like a functional shopping thing. So yeah, this theme is beautiful. One thing I wanna mention is the key feature section on the product page. I love this because instead of having to work around the template, you get to customize the size of your images and the text. And a lot of that wasn't really possible before Online Store 2.0. So this is just such a pleasure. Finally, if you're selling art of any kind, I have a really good and free theme for you. It's gonna be very colorful and it is special for artists. So Studio lets you showcase your curations with nice typography, really beautiful accents that are gonna frame your products well, and you can really help your buyers find something that's very unique and original using the collection-based navigation, creator filters, featured collections for galleries, and new arrivals and artist profiles. If you guys are watching this video, then obviously you're interested in Shopify, you're interested in Shopify themes, but if you wanna kinda like, give a Shopify store a little bit of a test run and try some themes out, then I would 100% recommend that you do. We actually have a two week free trial. So if you want to try it out, build a store, see how you like it, um, we'll have a link in the description box for you guys so that you can um, try that out. No credit card required, which is amazing. And yeah, let's get back to the video. Okay, for all my drop shippers out there, these themes are going to be for you. So in no particular order, Let's just start with warehouse. So if you guys are dropshippers, you guys know how hard it is to make your store look very like neat and professional. So I love this because first of all, the design lets you organize a large amount of content while still making it look professional. I think that's amazing. And with a lot of products, it can get really confusing for customers. So I feel like the ability to search by category is key. And this search bar is really great to help customers find exactly what they're looking for super, super fast. Now the product page, the product page has this amazing content scroll effect. So when I scroll, I can see the images, the description, shipping info, trust badges, all that fun stuff, but I can still see the add to cart function front and center. I think this is amazing, and this is gonna be good for stores with tons of products that need lots of information to help close those sales. Another amazing option is Empire. You guys might have like a dump truck of photos and information that you don't know what to do with. Um, I feel like that's very common for dropshippers, but if you have this theme, it's just gonna get you sorted. There's some really key features too. You have advanced filtering, promotion tiles, quick buy, and menu lists. So all of that's amazing. And again, this theme is gonna cater to stores with a large catalog and high volume. 
Expanse is such a good theme because you would never be able to tell that it's a drop shipping store. I just find like the small details make it feel really personal. So look at these hover animations. Um, look at these hover icons. I feel like those kinds of little things are gonna get customers clicking around, interacting with your website. I know these are like really small touches, but they really do help with conversions. One of my favorite things about this store is that it has a drop down cart. I feel like this is so good because it gets people to check out very quickly and continue shopping because customers never have to leave the page that they're on. As much as themes are created for merchants, like the store creators in mind, they also consider buyers. So let's take a look at some of these themes that are really good for the buyer experience. All right, let's check out Drop. This is a great example of a theme that is focused on a certain buyer experience. So this theme is aimed at creating hype and creating a sense of buyer anticipation. I think the main way that they do this is through the countdown timer. So that you guys can see like right over here, you can set dates for product launches and really just increase buyer urgency around the end of a sale. So I really love that. This is also facilitated without the need of an app. This is baked right into the theme, which is amazing. And it leverages Shopify's powerful meta fields feature that was released in 2.0. So that's what makes this feature available for this theme, which is great. But let's check out this next theme right here. This theme uses meta fields in a very novel way to enhance the buyer experience. And this theme right here is called Label. Love this theme. This theme is aimed at the arts and entertainment industry and by using meta fields, it allows buyers the ability to listen to tracks and also creates a real interactive element to stores. Okay, next theme, guys. I love this theme. This is Avenue. This is a really good example of a theme that focuses on the experience around um, like product filtering and discoverability. If you guys have no idea what I just said, don't worry, I got you. Basically, that just means that this theme is built towards getting the buyer to the right products as quickly as possible. So check out this filter search right here. So this feature is, first of all, it's positioned center stage, which means that the buyer can start filtering products right from the homepage, and that's gonna help them find exactly what it is that they're looking for. And the best part is, right, is that the results automatically refresh without needing to hit apply, which just makes the buyer's path to conversion a lot lighter. Guys, how did you like that video? I feel like it was a long one, but I feel like it was a useful one. Let me know in the comments section um, what theme that you have your eye on. And if you have any questions about any individual themes, leave them down there. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new here, this channel here is called The Room with Shopify. We have tips weekly, weekly videos just like this, where we tell you all the things that you need in order to start, run, and grow an online business. So if that's you, if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a solopreneur, hit that subscribe button because we got the knowledge here. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Michelle Bally and I will see you in the next one. Bye.